Hello, I'm Jess from Pass. Welcome to Pass Presents. Today I'm joined by Gary, TNR's Commercial and Sales Director. Welcome. Hello. Gary's here to talk to us about TNR's Live Line Tester Kits. He's going to be walking us through their capabilities, applications, and features. Hopefully, you'll find this video interesting and informative. However, if we do miss anything, please remember to leave your notes in the comments and like and subscribe. And remember to share this video with anyone you think it might help. I've said that this is a TNR product, but could you just tell us the history of these products, please? Yeah, the, the products are originally, and, and they originally came from a company called Edgecombe, Lord Edgecombe, indeed. Um, they had many factories around the UK. If you roll on to the late 90s, Edgecombe was separated and sold off to various companies. Spirant had a little bit of it. Um, a company called Martindale bought some uh, a, a proportion of it and eventually what happened is a company called high voltage instruments was formed from the managers that worked at the original Edgecombe factory in Bothwell they operated and produced these products up until November 2020 when the company was wholly acquired by the TNR group TNR test equipment limited effectively so these units now are TNR test equipment units. Great. And before we talk about the LL tickets in more uh, detail, could you please tell us why line, live line testing is so important? Effectively, what you're using these kits for predominantly is when you make a live, uh, sorry, a high voltage system that was live dead, you check that it's live, you make it dead, you check that it's dead, and then you prove that your equipment's working adequately. <laughs> so that's where these essentially, the mainstay where they're going to be used is to, to prove that any system, be that overhead lines, be that transformers, be that switch gear, that it's, it's live or dead or made dead safely. And that's the whole point of these kits. What we have is a number of kits. We go from 3.3 through to 33 kV um, and you select the correct kit for the voltage at which you're working because the display is on that part there of the unit and on the display the graduated analog display will be going up to the level at which you're working so for example if you bought an 11 kv kit it will go to 15 kv for example the kits themselves are designed wholly for ac systems so they are ac testing solutions yeah. but the whole thing about the kit is it's an all-in-one. Everything you need. So if you're working on overhead lines, you need extension poles, you have them here. If you're working on switch gear, we have the bent end adapters to reach behind the switch gear mm -hmm. to test and access the places where, you, where you'll be working. And as I said, the unit always comes with a proving unit to prove that the unit... You would prove that the unit's working before use yeah. and you prove at the end of the session, you prove it again before you touch the line so that you make sure that you are truly a dead system. And and what's the USP of these kits? What makes them different from others on the market? They are a full kit. Um, a number of people make various different live line testing solutions or overhead line testing solutions or switch gear testing solutions. In the case of this particular form of the kit, it has everything you, you're anticipated to need. So if you're a distribution engineer working for the local electricity board, everything's in there that you'd want you know right down to for example you've got your overhead connectors to connect onto the overhead lines um everything you'll need handles everything's there the other addition to that the unit can actually do phasing so when you're looking at two separate phases you have the main stick here and then what we call the phasing rod and we interconnect those it's an earth solution so it connects to earth but we can actually check the phase in the systems. So if you're up on a pylon, for example, you'll have six wires and you want to make sure that at the top it's phase one with phase one, phase two with phase two, phase three with phase three, and using the phasing condition, they can do it. So this is an all-in-one solution for a HV engineer. So could you just run through the types of equipment it can be used to test, please? Yeah, um, it's the starting point would be the overhead lines. Mm -hmm. It would be... From the overhead lines down to the transformers and obviously on the poles. From the poles 
back down, we go back to the switch gear itself and the protection equipment, including the circuit breaker. And as I said, you've got every kind of adapter that you will need for the situation you want to test in. So it's any, any high voltage testing that you need to do to prove that a system's dead yeah. from 3.3 kV all the way through to 33 kV. If it's in excess of 33 kV, then there's a different type of solution that you require. <laughs> you wouldn't normally be using an earth solution, which is what this solution is. And yeah, and you've mentioned all the different accessories that you can use with it in order to access various pieces of equipment. And I imagine that's very convenient because obviously high voltage equipment isn't exactly accessible because that protects the public, but it can be annoying for engineers. Was that the thinking behind? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the whole thinking about thinking behind the original conception of these kits. I mean, as I said, we're, we're dealing with Edgecomb, the original manufacturers, and they go right back. And we've got examples in the office from, for example, the war. And the kit that they used then was quite minimal. It was literally a high voltage detector like this with a dial on there and then an extension pole. What's happened over the years, what people have done is they've looked at it and said, would it be handy if we could check the phasing? So this is where the second rod came in mm -hmm. and the interconnection into the second rod. And then they said, oh, we need to be able to reach to it. So these extension poles came into it. And what you've, what's happened over the period of the last 50 years or so, the kit has formed into, as you see it today, with every anticipated accessory that you need for high voltage testing solutions. As you've mentioned, the kits go from 3.3 voltage all the way up to 33 kilovolts. Why have you got different options at different voltages? Why isn't there just one that does all of them? There is the option where if... So, for example, if you were working... If you had a 3.3 kV version yeah. and you tried to test at 33 kV, it's not going to work because A, it's too much voltage for that piece of equipment, and B... In very basic terms, the analog meter is not going to go high enough for you to measure. There is the argument if you had, for example, a 33 kV version, you could use that for 11 kV. We do do an, an accessory for this called a repeater unit, and we do those either as a standard 33 or, for example, we do what we call the algorithmic. So the algorithmic version of that will work with both the 11 kV or, or with multiple kits. But generally speaking, it's seen that if you was an engineer, you have your certification to a level um, and therefore you're going to buy the kit to the level that you're going to be working at and so for example Scottish Power Prime example they'll have both 33 and 11 kV units and the guys that work on 11 kV system they get their 11 kV system unit and the guys working on 33 have the 33 kV units and Edgecombe have always from the outset had always had an approach the right tool for the right job. Mm -hmm. So therefore, when we've done these, instead of doing them as a multi, we have done them at the designated 3.3, 6.6, 11kV, 13.8kV, and then lastly, 33kV. And you would buy the correct unit for the voltage, really, that you're working upon. Yeah, so to clarify, if you were working on 3kV and 33kV, you'd have to buy two separate... You kits. really would be better to. That yeah. would be the advice I would give. If you said to me, no, I'm going to buy a 33 and get away with it, fine, that's up to you. But I would I would urge you, really, to get the right tool for the right job. And the, the LLT kits, there are two versions, aren't there? There are the standard kits and the basic kits. There's not re really the LLT kits. There's one, and that is the kits. And what we've got is we've got engineers out there. Um, we do another unit called the HVOA, and it's literally just an indicator that a flashing light to say it's live or dead. Obviously, the advantage of the LLT is we have the display. So we have engineers out there. They don't need to do phase, and they, they don't work in overhead lines. They may be just a, a, are testing on their HV system that's reasonably accessible. So they don't need the extension poles, don't need the handles, etc., and so forth. And for those guys, we do literally a cut-down version called a basic kit, which yes. effectively is just the indicator. But the thing that they want that they wouldn't get from our HVI is the actual display of the voltage. Uh -huh. So we can actually measure with these, not just say, yes, it's live, yes, it's dead. We can say, yes, it's live, and it's indicated at 11 kV, for example, and we can actually measure that on the display itself. And speaking of the measurements, how have the LLT kits been designed to ensure accuracy? 
So there's there's a number of things. Um, one of the things is we are designing to the IEC standard for this type of product, which ensures accuracy and immunity from outside sources. Yeah. Um, and obviously that would then in itself be linked to the CE marking or in modern times in the UK, UK CA marking. The units come out from the factory calibrated, fully calibrated, and they are they come complete with their calibration cert. Yeah. And like many of the products from the TNR group, um, we would look that our customer would calibrate them once a year with us, with yourselves at pass, or one of our authorised calibration houses. Um, with these ones, though, it becomes imperative that they are using an authorised calibration house. These units, you're connecting live to 33,000 volts. You want to make sure that that unit is correct. Um, and our authorised calibration houses have received training and quite extensive training. It's not just a case of measuring the voltage with these. There's other tests such as torque testing, such as air proof testing. And those tests together mean that when I connect this to 33 kV, nothing horrible is going to happen at the other end where the person's standing. And that is imperative with these units. Just speaking of calibration, you can find all calibration information on our website, www.calibrate.co.uk. But you can also get a quick quote. You've mentioned 33,000 volts a few times, which sounds pretty dangerous to me. How have TNR developed the LLT kits to ensure end user safety? To be fair, as I said, I wish I could say that it was developed wholly by TNR. These units have been around for many years, going right back before the war, mm -hmm. um, under Edgecom Instruments. And we mentioned the branding earlier. One of the ones that I neglected was Metro, that people also see. Um, so these units have been uh, with, you know, with uh, Edgecom, Metro, HVI, and now ourselves for a great many years, and they've they have a proven track record, but more importantly than that, they're built and designed to an IEC standard mm -hmm. for this type of product. Um, so there's many things such as barriers, literally physical barriers, yeah. um, handles to extend, front end adapters to extend the length of the poles to keep the person one end and the high voltage the other end right away from each other. Great. And is there anything else you think we should know about the TNR LLT kits? One of the things is, back to the branding, one of the things that does happen is that people sometimes will actually confuse Metrome with a gas analysis company. Nothing, I, I should mention <laughs> this, nothing to do with us. They should look up Metrome quite separately for titration and gas analysis. Our products purely f with the Metrome Edgecombe branding, and as I said, now under the TNR test equipment logo, um, these products are purely high voltage testing ranges of products and with the LLT it is the complete solution so everything as I mentioned at the beginning everything in the case that a person will need to do the testing successfully. And if you were to sum up the LLT kits in three words what would they be? Safety in a box but I did know that's four words. <laughs> uh, thank you for speaking with us today. It's been a pleasure thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, it was very informative. I hope you found that interesting. As ever, if we did miss anything, please leave notes in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe and share this video with anyone you think it might help. Please look out for our other episodes with Gary about TNR's other best-selling instruments. And as ever, you can find all information about the LLT kits on our website, www.tester.co.uk.